So hi guys, welcome back to Derive. Uh, andito tayo sa fourth question for the topic of pressure still under the subject of ther thermodynamics. So the, answer, uh, the question is, given the two compartment vessel shown, gauge A reads 85 PSI gauge, gauge B inside compartment X reads 25 PSI gauge. If the barometer reads 30.61 inches of mercury, determine the reading of the gauge C and convert this reading to an absolute value. Okay, so nika solution tayo. So the question is looking for the value of the gauge C or the reading of the gauge C, then convert this reading to an absolute value. So because it is gauge, we may convert that to an absolute value later. Basta may given na barometric pressure. So are we going to do this? So uh, sulat na natin yung given. So gauge A reads daw 85 PSI. At ang sabi, gauge B inside compartment X reads 25 PSI gauge. At ang sabi, if the barometer reads... 30.61 of inches mercury. Wait. Inches of mercury. Ayan, laging may lipat. Hindi pa naman tapos. Gusto mo tapos na ba? Siyempre hindi. Alright. Ayan, 30.61 inches of mercury. So, we are looking for the pressure at point C. And syempre, gauge pressure yan mamaya. Pa-convert na lang natin sa absolute kasi may given na tayong barometric pressure. Kasi we all know that the absolute pressure is equal to barometric pressure plus gauge pressure. So, okay. So, kung may given na tayong barometric pressure, how are we going to solve for the absolute pressure? Of course, kailangan may gauge pressure tayo. And how are we going to get the gauge pressure at point C? Kasi point C ang tinatanong. So the principle here, guys, is that, or the technique here, or the solution here, pag gantong problem, kung ano yung pressure dito sa compartment na to, it should be equal dito sa pressure ng compartment na ito. Meaning that the, that the sum of the pressure C plus pressure B is also equivalent dun sa pressure ng A. And mathematically, it should be the difference of the gauges, which is pressure A minus point B. So that will become 85 PSI gauge minus 25 PSI gauge. So that is 60 PSI gauge. So lagyan mo na lang ng gauge to. Ayan. So the answer is 60, piece, uh, 60 PSI for the point C, but the answer is looking for the absolute value. So taas na natin. So absolute pressure is equal to barometric pressure, which is 30.61 inches of mercury. But the thing is, the unit of the pressure C here is 60 PSI gauge. So we should convert this inches of mercury into PSIA or PSI rather. So that will become in every one atmospheric pressure, meron tayong 29.92 inches of mercury. At yung 29.92 uh, inches of mercury na yun ay equivalent also to 14.7 PSI. So the inches HG is cancelled. So minus or plus rather, 60 PSI. So all units are on PSI. So the absolute pressure is equivalent to 30.61 times 14.7 or 30.61 divided by 29.92 times 14.7 PSI plus 60 PSI. So the answer is 75.04 PSI. And since the given is mga flat lang na value, 25, 85. So we may say that the value of the absolute pressure point for point C is 75 PSI.
Okay, so that was for the point, uh, that was for the item number four. So medyo tumahol ng aming aso. <laughs> so ibig sabihin may bisita kami. So ayun lang, uh, we're going to proceed for the question number five. And the last item for the topic of pressure. See you guys and thank you. Goodbye and God bless.